Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 11th, 2022. Well, yesterday, my goodness, a roller coaster ride of uncertainty as we gapped up in the morning and then completely turned around, went down, set new lows for 2022, and then chopped around and ended up rallying a little bit at the end of the day. Just kind of leaving everybody wondering, well, what comes next? Obviously the uncertainty is due to the CPI number that will be coming out this morning. And once again, we have the futures trying to uh, pop us up. So will we have um, a good number and actually get some bullish follow through this morning? Or will we be disappointed with another pop and drop uh, if that number comes out hotter than expected. How about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. We can see how these charts line up for today. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, these index charts and see if we can figure out how we're going to deal with this today as we wait for that CPI number. First off, as you can see, we set a new 2022 low here in the Dow yesterday and left behind a pretty nasty looking bearish engulfing pattern. And while that's going on, we have a big pump up going this morning as you can see because um, analysts and institutions have been pumping up and prepping the market saying that um, inflation has peaked well um, they also said inflation was transitory <laughs> so I'm not sure I'm going to um, be all of that convinced that they know what's going to come out in this number but if they are right then we could rally up and maybe we could start to test some resistance levels in the chart one thing i will say is indicators do tell us that we are overdue for a bit of relief rally so if that number were to come in um, better than expected then we might be able to see a little bit of a bullish short squeeze being triggered and maybe we can start pushing back up here um, in these charts but we'll, we'll we will want to respect these major price resistance levels in the chart even as we rally we have to remember we're still overall downtrending in these markets and that just a one-day rally does not make a trend so kind of keep that in mind if we do find that bullishness however if those bears um, find out that the number is hotter than expected boy it really wouldn't be all that hard to see how we could continue to break on down here in the market um, so watch carefully for that we experienced that nasty pop and drop yesterday a disappointing number could certainly trigger another one of those today so be careful how you rush in this morning um, there's a lot of uncertainty now I was I was holding um, some bullish trades looking for a little bit of relief rally and believe it or not I was able to hold those without too much trouble yesterday because they are um, bull put credit spreads the volatility I'm so far away from the, the trade that it really didn't hurt at all but I am still going to be watching this carefully to see because if we cannot follow through to the upside that is going to be a problem for those positions and I would be a little bit worried that there could be more downside now when we take a look at our technicals obviously our technicals are pretty dismal but we did hold that 500 day moving average by the end of the day yesterday so fingers crossed maybe a little bit of hope but we will want to keep in mind there's a lot of technical damage here that we're going to have to recover from if we take a look at our spy spy also uh, pretty dismal here on the day but it didn't quite leave behind a bearish engulfing notice we had more of an inside day here as um, tech tech really tried to hold up a little bit better than our industrials did yesterday but unfortunately we still have uh, the same situation going on here we have uh, downtrends all over the place we've got a lot of work to deal with in this chart we have uh, tremendous resistance above that we're going to have to work through if that number is bullish and we can catch a little bit of a rally to the upside um, and if those bears find the inspiration it's not a big 
obviously not a big um, guess um, where we could go here. Um, trying to hold on to that 4,000 level here in the SPY. Still going to be very critical. Big round numbers tend to be those good support or resistance levels. Right now we're trying to hold in there on support, but we'll have to just watch that closely depending on how we react to this number this morning. And once again, our technicals here, dismal, but we did hold on to that 500 day moving average. Um, just, well, I guess we slipped just a little bit on it um, yesterday, but uh, um, hanging in there this morning. So we'll see how that goes and the remainder of our technicals, uh, pretty bearish. If we take a look, at our QQQ. QQQ unbelievably nasty here um, in our technicals on the QQQ. A major rally will have to um, uh, push through just to bring us back up to downtrend and resistance in the chart. Certainly we held up stronger here in the NASDAQ giving us that little bit of hope that we could push on through. Keep in mind we have substantial resistance levels above if we can get something going. And if those bears um, find inspiration, um, not a hard, um, not a hard um, picture as to where we're going to go um, if that were to be the case. And if we take a look at these technicals, remember we're well below our 500 day moving average here on um, the QQQ. So any rally back, we're gonna have lots of resistance here. And notice that 50 day moving average is moving down. We could easily have that 50 day crossing down through the 500 here before too long in the NASDAQ. If we take a look at the Russell, boy, I tell you, IWM, um, had quite a quite a whipsaw to yesterday, gapping up and then pushing down to new lows. And as you can see, trying to pick up here this morning. Obviously, we are overall in major downtrends here in the Russell. We've got a lot of work to come back just to some levels of price resistance in the chart and downtrend. So we are oversold, which would suggest that we we need we're overdue for a little bit of a relief rally back toward resistance levels. But if that number were to come in hotter than expected this morning, we could easily see us dip down through there as well. So stay on your toes and watch carefully. Technicals here um, are awful. 50-day moving average crossing down through our 500-day moving average. Notice that our shorter-term moving averages are still below the 50-day moving average. Very ugly chart here on the Russell. And there still is that real possibility that we continue uh, to sink down toward this 169, 168 level in the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, interestingly enough, yesterday, while we were doing all this pushing and shoving around yesterday, we didn't see any panic in um, the market. It was, we set new record lows or new lows for 2022, but we saw no major panic here in the VIX. So the good news is we continue to hold this area right in here as resistance. And um, even though there was all of that uncertainty, it didn't manifest itself in uh, some panic selling here in the market. So we have this little uptrend in play. We'll want to watch price levels through here, you know, around um, um, these areas here, 26, 27 area. Um, if we break down through there, then um, we'll look for some um, support in here around the 24, 25 area. And if, if those bears are inspired, watch carefully here if we were to spike above there. Because if we get up there, I'm afraid we're gonna see a big institutional selling um, that could trigger here as that volatility spikes. So be careful here, guys. There'll be a lot of shifting around if that happens. If we take a look at our T2122, now our T2122 is, remains our best hope of a relief rally. Notice we just pegged down here yesterday um, at the bottom which tells us we have an awful lot of opportunity if we can find reason for some bullishness to um, to rally. We've opened up a big space here for the upside. So I keep leaning toward the bullish side here of the market, but remember that CPI number um, could certainly change that. And of course we need to keep in mind the geopolitical issues out there. Gas prices are hitting new record highs. 
um, in the nation. Consumers are still very, very stressed. So I'm not suggesting that this uh, potential rally is, is the bottom of the market and that we're going to start moving up from there. As a matter of fact, I think it's only going to be a rally back to resistance levels and we continue the downtrend. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now our T2108 ugly yesterday, uh, breaking down new lows here on um, new lows on the year in T2108, only 14, about 15% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. Pretty tough to see that as any kind of a bullish picture, but you can see this as, as an extreme oversold condition in the short term. So and once again, kind of hoping, maybe leaning just a little bit into a little bit of relief rally, assuming this number doesn't disappoint us. And the same with T2107. T2107, uh, new lows here on the year, pretty darn ugly, um, with only 22%, 21, 22% of our stocks holding above the 200 day moving average. Pretty ugly chart. And again, just kind of showing us that extreme oversold and that we should, if that number comes in good um, or better than expected, we might get a little bit of relief in the selling. Or T2101, interesting enough, did push up showing that little bit of momentum um, in that selling to the downside yesterday. But since it didn't manifest itself in the VIX, I'm not sure that's giving us really clear signals here at all. So just keep a close eye on that. Um, we'll have to watch close. And then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, I've been talking about it all morning and we've been talking about it all week, honestly. Um, first thing out this morning is that CPI number and we know that that could move us around substantially. We also know that, that um, analysts and institutions have been pumping and promoting. In fact, you've, you've seen report after report coming in on the news feeds on CNBC and Fox Business. Oh, then, you know, everything's going to be better because the CPI probably peaked last month. Well, you know, if we continue to look at food prices, energy prices, and rents, which are the three major things that factor into figuring the CPI, that might be a little bit of a stretch. We can keep our fingers crossed and hope that that number did ebb just a little bit, but as we're seeing new record um, uh, prices at the pump, um, it, it may be a little bit of a stretch. So we can't be all that surprised if this does come out and show that number comes in a little bit hotter than what analysts are suggesting. And remember, uh, these are the same people that told us that inflation was transitory, that it wasn't going to be a big deal, that it wasn't going to stick around. Um, all of those things have not been right. So you'll want to take this um, and, and just be really careful not to be predicting what's going to happen here because I'm not sure anyone really knows. Watch that closely. Anything is possible. And then we're going to have our petroleum status number. Um, it's going to be equally important, I think, today as our fuel prices continue to rise, um, really putting pressure on everything we buy, sell, and do. Um, so watch that closely. That number could be critical today. And then we've got a Fed speaker, and then we we'll might want to be keeping an eye on this 10-year bond auction. Bonds have started to pull back the last couple of days. We'll want to watch that closely. It could have a major effect on how that bond auction goes off, on how that CPI comes in today. And then as you plan for tomorrow, keep in mind, Remember, we saw jobless claims tick just a little bit higher last time, and there may be some clues that we could start seeing layoffs starting to increase a little bit as pressure on companies um, grows. And then we also have PPI, so we're going to have producer prices on Thursday to keep us on edge here in the market. So watch carefully for that as you plan forward. Then let's take a look at that earnings calendar. Earnings, um, we're starting, today is a little bit lighter day. We have a really busy day on Thursday and a pretty busy day next Monday, but then earnings really start to diminish and um, start to, um, 
we start to wind down um, second quarter earnings season. Now that can be good and bad because we've had such a mix of results, but we also want to remember as we slide into summer and we start losing the inspiration here on earnings, um, it could get, um, it could be tough for the market here with geopolitical tensions, issues in China, issues in Japan, things like that will come back to attention just a little bit more. So we'll want to pay close attention as we start winding those down. But this morning, if you take a look at the morning blog, you'll see there I've got uh, notables on that list. We've got um, less than 175 companies listed today and are um, notables are starting to diminish just a little bit. One that's been talked about quite a bit that we're going to have to watch here is Disney. Disney will be reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. There's been a lot of controversy around this company here recently. It'll be interesting to see how that impacts those earnings. We're also going to hear from uh, Beyond Meat. Now, Beyond um, obviously the heyday of these IPO stocks um, um, certainly is over um, and as you can see setting uh, new lows in, even since the IPO um, on uh, Beyond Meat so watch that one closely we're going to hear from um, Wendy's today Wendy's we could go out and have some have a have some beef I guess out there on Wind's, Wind's, Wendy's um, um, also sending um, uh, breaking support levels looking a lot lower here this morning and gapping down it looks like this morning um, based on its earnings results we're also going to hear from um, donut donut maybe we all just should go get a donut and sit around and um, get high on sugar um, instead of watch this market today <laughs> and all the volatility that it could create. Um, we have a little bit of price support here. And as you can see, Donut's trying to look a little bit higher here this morning. So keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from Toyota. Now, Toyota came out with their earnings report. Um, they're actually lowering estimates pretty substantially. They're going to have to cut production because of supply chain issues. We will want to keep an eye on that. Our um, Rivian, Rivian has been in the news here lately with Ford selling 8 million shares of Rivian just recently. Um, that um, earnings report will be of interest today so keep a close eye on that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today um, but oh by the way guys if you want to catch the full list of notables make sure you click the link below the title of the video before we look at some of those stocks that could be setting up today do me a favor guys if you if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And also, thank you so much to everyone who continues to click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments, continues to help the channel to grow. And also, I haven't mentioned this for a few days, but thank you so much to everyone who continues to support the channel with Buy Me A Coffee. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I do need to get on the stick and, and get some, uh, another live event put together so watch for that everyone let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up and please guys keep in mind these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence be very very careful um, in um, this market because anything is possible now one thing that I have been mentioning here on the long side and I think we really are going to have to stick with that here just a little bit is we need to be keep looking at some of these food companies um, take a look at coke it's holding in this nice little right uh, pattern we're sliding out from underneath that downtrend we're trying to hold on to some support in here now obviously we've been struggling in here with the bearishness of the market but just keep in mind these food companies continue to show lots and lots of strength and as we get pullbacks in stocks like Hershey watch for the next opportunity in those take a look at Kellogg's Kellogg's really strong a little rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity uh, post Post is another one. It re reacting to some resistance up here, pretty strong selling yesterday, but watch for that potential of a higher low in here and that opportunity that we could continue to move up in trends. Um, Kraft Heinz also 
um, doing pretty well here. Moving up, we'll want to watch this area in here, see if it can hold, and then continue to move to the upside. So food is one of those places. Um, natural gas um, is another place. Take a look at UNG. Now, UNG has sold off here recently, but there was some news, Ukraine shutting off uh, gas supplies to Europe. Um, um, you know Russian Russian supplies and as you can see here we are in a situation where we may be bouncing right back up here in natural gas holding on to trends this got a little bit extended no doubt about it needed a little rest or pullback but keep an eye on that I think those natural gas prices are going to continue to show pressure um, as this Ukraine situation uh, continues, the, um, obviously Russia is just creating all kinds of hate and discontent in that energy sector. So watch that carefully. And um, those are some of those upside moves. You might also want to take a look at some of the utilities. There are some utilities in there that are holding up quite well, even though the index is starting to show, show some pain here. If we look in here, there were some indexes starting to perk up starting to come back through some are holding up nicely so keep an eye on some of those um, utilities trying to hang in there pretty strong um, we also saw just a few things in the energy sector yesterday xle whoops energy sector has been pulling back but um, trying to push up a little bit yesterday a little bit of volatility in that along with the rest of the market you can see we're edging higher here this morning in the pre-market so keep an eye on some of those stocks we started to see some of those stocks starting to recover um, yesterday so let's keep a close eye on there we we might see some of these start picking back up here just a little bit and largely due to that news out of russia ukraine so watch that carefully i don't see these coming down anytime soon but then again we have that oil number today and one of the best things about high prices um, is high prices actually Rex demand. So if we start to see our demand because um, uh, consumers rejecting those high prices, we really could start seeing some of these energy prices pull back. We'll want to watch that close. Then let's take a look at some stocks that I think we still need to be watching for potential shorts. And, and those are anything that continue in a downtrend. And I'm going to put some of the big techs on here. And I know folks don't want to hear this. Um, um, but if we start looking at Microsoft rallying back up to this major resistance area in the chart, we'll want to keep an eye on that, realizing that Microsoft is still in a downtrend. Rally back into that resistance area could set up the next opportunity short, so keep an eye on that. Um, Amazon, I'm not sure, but I think Amazon may even continue moving down. I think 2000 um, looks to be a pretty reasonable target here in Amazon. Um, that's been selling off hard. Any rally back could set up an opportunity short in those. Now, as you guys know, I've been mentioning the, the financials as a short trade, and that is certainly proven to work out here. But now we're kind of stretching that to the downside. We may want to start looking at some of these for the possibility that they could catch a little bit of price support if we can get a relief rally in the market. We still got to get through these downtrends, but watch that closely. Some of these might start to come back around. Some of them are still looking pretty ugly, however, so keep a close eye on those. They have that potential that they could go either direction. Just watch those closely. So there's a few things for you to look at today. I got to tell you, I, I, I would just recommend being really, really careful. Um, a lot of things just uncertain uncertain you can see we've got here in glw where we're trying to hang in here and hold on to a bit of a trend but we're losing support again just so much back and forth so much uncertainty in the market trade carefully trade wisely don't over trade this market and if you're completely uncertain as to what to do just stand aside remember um wait until you have a better edge in the market 
um, before you risk a bunch of money around all of these events that could move us dramatically and honestly move us dramatically in both directions on the same day. So be careful, everyone. Have a great day, and I'll see you right back here, bright and early, Thursday morning. Wish you all the best, everyone.